which claimed the life of shipping mogul Rex Larson four days ago when he was deemed at risk of death. It's Orson. Orson. Ugh. In Japan. Never mind. Industries much hailed surgery robot, nicknamed the Spider, has lost its first patient on the operating table. The Gamma Medical Facility. Max, are you hiding, you little Sharon, monster? Terry, so no clear. jump Copy scares. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were gonna say that. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, honey. No problemo. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question, and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now. You will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Ugh. Unbelievable. I'm gonna turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Turn it in. Keep 
guard outside. I'm staying here too, you know. The least you could do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, um, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Hmm, fa me. Or maybe... Second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga for like five days from now. I've got no idea what the mission is or who my team mates are, but all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Alma has one out of an expense account. How much did the boss loot from that cross guy? Was it three billion? Something like that. But actually, this is Alma's old safe house from her Bonnie and Clyde days with Sean Rose. Uh, I guess left wing terrorism pays better than you think. Yeah, that or she shot the owner. Still, I gotta say, this is a swanky place to lay low. It's got a house AI and voice control and everything. Kick ass security system, too. Of course, she never turns it on because of Max. Apparently, he's so big, the sensors treat him as an intruder. Why not just lock him in the garage? <laughs> Orson tried that, and, uh, well, Max ate the tires on his SUV and half a bicycle. <laughs> no, Max doesn't like to be tied down. Well, they do say pets take after their owners.
got to be deep enough. What, are you afraid we're going to set the beach on fire? No, but we don't want animals digging up the charred bones, now do we? Especially not Max. You fellas bring the drums of kerosene. You're in the back of the truck. Plenty of juice. 